This is last year's math problems. As you see, it has 30 problems in total. And problems from 1 to 21 are multiple choice problems. And those from 22 to 30 are uh, short answer problems. Each problem is assigned its points, 2 or 3 or 4, and the number at the end of each problem shows how many points can be gained by solving the problem. Let's figure out how many problems are for 2 points and 3 or 4 points. We can construct simple coupled linear equations like these x plus y plus z equals 30, 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals 100. It means there are 30 problems in total, and there are x problems of 2 points, and there are y problems of 3 points, and there are z problems of 4 points. But from the start, we will calculate it as an indeterminate equations and later fix our exact number of problems by substituting the number of two-point problems. Uh, I'm using a free but advanced mathematics software called SageMath and show how I find the answers. First input these uh, commands, the solutions for y and z in x and the uh, uh, answers are assigned y1 and uh, uh, do something in sage math and we'll list up the uh, correct answers in determine the equations uh, there are uh, many triples of uh, answers from 0 20 and 10 uh, 1 1811 uh, and I'll give the uh, numbers of x's uh, it is 3 so x equals 3 and y equals 14 and z equals uh, 13 so far this one is considered one of the most difficult uh, of all CSET math problems. It is introduced in English Wikipedia article about CSET of South Korea. The correct answer rate is below 1%. Uh, the problem reads, fx defined for x greater than 0 and the quartic function gx of which leading coefficient is negative 1 Satisfy the conditions below, where a is a constant. a. For all real numbers x such that great x greater than a, uh, x minus a uh, multiplied by fx is gx. b. For two different real numbers alpha and beta, the function fx has the same local maximum value m at x equals alpha and x equals beta. Uh, m is bigger than 0. And c, the number of x's which make fx local maximum or minimum is greater than that of x's which make gx local maximum or minimum. And the difference uh, of beta and alpha equals 6 times square root of 3. Find the minimum value of m. Uh, as you see, uh, this problem is uh, very hard to even decipher. Uh, 